Human beings are genetically programmed to look for facial and behavioral cues and to quickly evaluate their meaning. We read body language at lightning speed. When we see someone gesture, we automatically, subconsciously and instantly make a judgment about the intention of that gesture. And we have been doing this for a long, long time. Hello everyone, in this video, we will be discussing some of the common mistakes we make while reading body language. Let's get it on. Misunderstanding when a smile is not a smile. Research has shown that people, women in particular, cover discomfort with a smile. In one study, a common response was to give an uncomfortable smile. The problem was that some men interpreted this positively as a seductive invitation. Research on facial expressions has distinguished between true smiles of enjoyment and fake smiles. Believing we can tell lies from truths. Research has shown that very few people can detect lies at levels above chance. We are simply not very good at reading complex non-verbal communications. And lies are typically complex interactions. Due to misreading of cues and our stereotypes about what deception looks like, Consider, in one of the studies found that people actually engage in more eye contact when lying than truth telling, presumably because they knew the stereotypes about liars avoiding eye contact, and so they overcompensated. Assuming that touch means affection. We believe touching others is a sign of affection, but touch can communicate many things. Studies of gender and touching suggest that at times men may touch women as a sign of dominance. Also, in some very interesting studies, it was found that waitresses who touch their customers just a light touch when delivering the bill get larger tips. There are other individual differences in touching, with some people being touchers and others generally avoiding contact. A toucher may hold your arm to keep your attention, but not necessarily have positive feelings for you. Thinking, uh, such as nervousness. What your middle school teacher told you is wrong. Filling pauses with us while giving a speech does not necessarily indicate nervousness or forgetfulness but can actually be a way to improve the flow of communication. Research found that the incidence of us was associated with more positive ratings of speakers, presumably because the us filled in the dead space between the words or phrases and made the speech seem more fluid and uninterpreted. We can become better readers or decoders of non-verbal communication but it takes a lot of time and practice. One wise strategy is not to rely on common sense and simply make assumptions about what a particular non-verbal cue actually means. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Do comment your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe the channel and turn on the notifications.